his efforts and coming in here and getting this, this kind of win for your young well, it was a, obviously it's a, a great win for us and uh, I thought it was really a, a great effort by a lot of different guys. We, we had so much respect and have so much respect for Texas A&M and Coach Kennedy and his team, they're, they're just, they do so many things that are really hard to defend. We uh, had to really be a, as scrappy as we could be uh, defensively and uh, second half I thought was a big uh, key when our guards started rebounding, getting out on the floor so we could run. We really wanted to run as much as we could run. I thought Kyle Alexander came up big second half with some blocks. Grant Williams just continues to get better and better. And uh, uh, we had to fight through some foul trouble. But uh, overall, our guys stayed in it and uh, were able to, to get a win. What's the key to slowing Davis down? Well, he's such a you, – you've got to – he demands so much respect because he, he's such a great position player. He, he, he really knows how to move his feet in there and get deep post up. And as much as we could, we just didn't want to let him ride us up the lane. Uh, we were going to come at him from different angles, uh, depending on uh, – I thought our guys did a good job with our scout report too. Uh, you know, we – and they knew it. We were going to have to come in and uh, trap him. And But the key was not what we did so much with him, that we got the hit man on the backside that was, and we turned him over a couple times there where he, he tried to make the right read and we broke the ball loose there a couple times. And, 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 uh, and obviously uh, – uh, we weren't very good offensively to start the game, but they had a lot to do with the way they played us, and uh, we were a little bit reluctant to shoot the ball from the perimeter, which we, we shouldn't be. And but uh, he, uh, he he brings a lot of attention, and uh, but we wanted to pressure as much as we could on the perimeter uh, to try to push him out. So uh, if the ball was in the air long enough, we could get get some coverage over there and try to really swarm him and not give him very much space on the floor to work. What's Grant do to be? So effective at well, he's still. Uh, I've been I've been at him pretty good the last couple of days, and uh, we had a, yesterday was a, going at him because I told him I said you you got to prove you can play at this level. He's very deceptive. Uh, he still hasn't shown how athletic he is. Now he is starting to do that blocking shots, but offensively there's and, and we've got to do a better job. I got to do a better job getting our guys to get him the ball because he can score it. Um, He's, he was very locked in. I thought he helped our team tonight where he was talking a lot. He's one guy that uh, really does follow his scout report, and, and he was talking, doing a lot for his teammates there. But uh, he's deceptive, uh, quick off his feet, but he's still quicker than he has shown. But uh, the fact is he's getting better and starting to understand himself how to get space inside and get angles where he can score. And he's strong. He's obviously a very strong player and uh, strong upper body and, and when he gets it in there, he, when he takes his time, he has great hands and he can and he he can score the ball. Is this the defensive team that you thought you had in mm -hmm. preseason that you talked so much about the way this team can play defense? Well, well I, I've simply said we got to be better than we were a year ago, which wasn't saying a lot. But uh, I, one thing I told our guys uh, right there, I said, you know, I thought we defended, but there's still levels we got to get better. And uh, but overall, I thought that uh, our guard play, uh, we really tried to. You know, we wanted to get out and run. We, that was a big part of it. And uh, our guards, when they start going down the rebound, were better when they do that. But uh, our perimeter defense has gotten better. And because of that, I think it's helped our post guys because everyone knows we're the smallest team in the league. But uh, uh, the fact is, uh, they, tonight I thought we made it up with a real spirit about uh, trying to do what we ask them to do. And, uh, and um it's something that we've got to build on. Is it, is it good to be back? You know what? It, it is in the fact that it's tough playing here because I've got so much respect for Billy Kennedy. I love him. He's one of the, he's one of the finest people, one, a terrific coach. and It's always hard to coach against friends. And, uh, and uh, But coming back, you know, uh, I got to see two of my grandkids and uh, my son-in-law. My daughter was planning on coming, but she got sick. But I had some people come over, T.J. Ford, address the team before the game. They've heard enough stories about T.J. Ford, and he came over, and <clears throat> right before he went on the court to play, he had some words uh, to him. And, but uh, <clears throat> I love the state of Texas. I always have. I've got, always had great respect for this university and the people here. Uh, I'm just surprised how much it continued to grow. And uh, But uh, it did feel different. I told Billy before the game, I said, it really feels different coming in here with 
a team that says Tennessee on it. And uh, but the fact is, it's a uh, I love this state and always will. And uh, uh, and the people here have always been so good. I mean, they're uh, they're just very generous, kind people, and uh, they want to win like everybody. But uh, uh, again, uh, I feel good right now. I can tell you that. You know. They didn't call you bus driver this time. No, they didn't. Yeah, but I kind of brought that on myself. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I well, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> Chris, can you talk about uh, what it means when Robert only gets uh, six points and you can come away with a win like that? Well, I told him, and he said it for a long time in the first half because I, I didn't think he was doing what we asked him to do at the start of the game. I mean, we uh, Hogue came out on fire. Uh, I think Hogue had, had half their points at halftime. We let him get comfortable to start with, and. Uh, and when we go to the three-guard lineup, those guys, you know, we get a little bit better defensively, but I thought he did respond in the second half. I thought his composure really helped us at the end of the game. He and Lou Evans both, their composure, they were the ones, guys out there that were keeping it under control. Mustella, Shambari, Phillips, they, they still get uh, scattered, whatever word you want to put down. But uh, th I thought those, good, those two guys' demeanor really helped us at the end. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay.